again. And see, I'm stepping properly to, to, to get to that target. And yeah, he's stepping a little bit abnormally, but it leaves him wide open. So why wouldn't you want to take that risk anyway? We're going over and coming back to load up to hit. All right, so now the last thing is we're going to show you, uh, you can eliminate that hit, that last little probe jab, and then just do a feint with your shoulder. But as long as you bring it forward, you're going to get that counterbalance that you need to throw that straight a lot quicker out. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so nice and slow. So step over, come in, and then hit. Yeah, you did it right. All right, go ahead. And you're going to hit with this one. Go ahead. There you go. All right, let's go with this side. All right, so once again, watch his right. This side, let's go ahead, how we just showed him a little while ago with the jab. All right, step over, boom, boom. All right, that's how you did. Now we're going to limit the jab. Maybe he doesn't want to throw it out. Maybe the situation does not allow it, but he still needs that momentum, that added momentum from throwing his lead shoulder forward to gather up that momentum and throw that freaking rear uh, uh, firing uh, hit right out. So there we go. All right, notice how his shoulder shifted a lot. It's almost the same exact thing as releasing the punch. One more time, let's do it consecutively. One punch and then the other one without the punch. All right, so here we go. That's with the punch, without the punch. It's still the same exact movement, it's just not that extra hit. Maybe he wants to preserve energy, whatever the case may be. In certain situations might not let you do every single uh, combination exactly how you practice it in the gym. All right, so be, be aware of that. You're only limited to your creativity. Um, I think that was it. All right, so now I'm going to show you real quick just how uh, softball would do. Obviously, uh, you guys, all you need to do is just reverse it. That's all you do. All right, but I'm going to show you real quick. I'm not going to drill it that long. I don't have much time. I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. Make it all boring and stuff. All right, so now you stand as the orthodox too. All right, so now he's going to throw the jab at me. So throw the jab at me. I'm going to step out and step in. All right, it's, it's that simple. So you're not going to go step and then go. All right, it's one motion. Step in. Spark and shove in, shoulder in, all right? You're going to go step and shoulder in, all right? Just like that. Boom. On the way out, you're going to bring this foot out. Bam. Once you load up, boom. Hit him where he was. All right, so here we go. All right, throw the jab. Right there. I step out and then bam. I hit him right there. All right? Uh, you, you, can, you can use this hand for it. Right, go ahead and do it again. Boom. Bring it down. Bam. All right, there's different things you can do. I don't recommend you do all that just yet because I'm going to confuse the hell out of you. I want you to stick to the basics of this advanced move. All right, so here we go. Let's go on this side. So once again, throw the jab, boom, just like that. All right, now I'm just going to throw this foot back so I can get back to position of power because if I go up this way, now he can easily shoot that one. All right, so I don't want to go back the same way I came. So all I'm going to do right here is throw my foot back and then boom, before he's done, uh, position himself to face me. One more time now, keep going. So go ahead. Boom, right there. So, so you can see that he naturally wanted to turn over to try to hit me. And he was just basically wide open. One more time over here. There I go. I'm going to stop. Go ahead. Go. All right. So one more time from this side. Go ahead. All right. So that's what it looks like. Uh, once again, just follow what I just showed you guys with the orthodox, uh, just reverse it, alright? It's not that difficult, it's only difficult if you make it up here, alright? Either way, you want to train uh, the mind, the mind, training the mind is paramount, alright? You want to challenge yourself because you're only limited to your creativity, alright? So don't forget, pain is temporary, pride is eternal, fulfill fulfillment lasts forever. You got to fight through the pain in order to progress to anything, so as long as it's not a broken bone, Wipe off that blood, wipe off those tears if they come out, and keep going, going, going. All right, uh, obviously, be fair to your body. If you have a, a, a sprained ankle or something, don't be doing plyometrics on that freaking ankle, all right? Uh, do, do hand and eye coordination, upper body stuff, all right? So, I want to give thanks here to Warrior Steven for helping us demonstrate this. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. And... Check that little check mark so you can get, you know, updated whenever I uh, get a notice, whenever I upload a new video. All right, thanks once again. My name is Luis Medina. I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. And once again, give, I want to give thanks here to Warrior Steven for helping us demonstrate this. Don't forget, you want to limit your creativity. I want to say it over and over and over because it is very important.